In the discussion forums, I've seen that some students have been struggling when trying to prove uh, vector identities using the Levi Civita symbol and the Kronika Delta. So here is an extra tutorial video to try and help. Let me prove the uh, vector triple product. So A cross parentheses B cross C equals A dot C times the vector B minus A dot B times the vector C. So this is a vector identity. So to prove this identity, we need to prove it for all three components or prove it for an arbitrary component uh, with index I. So we start by writing the left-hand side, and then we're going to do some manipulations to see if we can recover the right-hand side. So we write the left-hand side, uh, A cross B cross C, and we're going to consider then one component of this, but it will be an arbitrary component, so the I component. Uh, we're going to write this this is a cross product, so we're going to write this using the Levi Civita symbol. Uh, the index of this um, cross product is i, so we will write that as epsilon sub i and then jk, summing over j and k. The first vector is a, so that takes the index j. The second vector is b cross c. So the second vector is a cross product. Um, we need the kth index of the second vector. So we can use again the Levi Civita symbol and have the kth index in the first position. And then we have to sum over the other two indices. We cannot reuse um, uh, i and j. So we can use l and m. And then we have our B sub L, C sub M, okay? Uh, we have the product of two Levi Civita symbols, epsilon I, J, K, epsilon K, L, M. I would like to have the index that's contracted over the K index in the first position. So I'm going to write epsilon I, J, K. I'm going to put K in the first position. I, J, K, we have to keep the same cyclical order. So I move K to the first position, so it will be K, I, J. And then we have epsilon K, L, M. And then A, J, B, L, C, M. Okay, now we use the relationship between the product of two Levi Civita symbols with one index contracted and the uh, Kronika deltas. So this will be delta IL, delta JM, right? The second index C's and the third indices, minus, then you switch the indices, so I M delta j l so that's a very useful identity um, and then that's a j b l c m uh, now we contract the uh, chronica deltas against the um, vector components um, i is not going to be contracted because we're looking at the ith component of the vector so we can contract L and M. Uh, we have I, L, J, M, so we have to choose one of these indices. So I'm going to replace L and M. So I'm going to write this so L gets replaced with I, delta I, L, B, L, and uh, M gets replaced with J, delta J, M, C, M. So we will write this then as the first piece will be a j, we'll leave the j, and then l will be replaced by i, b i, and then m will be replaced by j, c, j, minus the second term. So m gets replaced by i and l gets replaced by j. So minus a j, l gets replaced by j, b j, M gets replaced by I, C, 
I. Okay, so we've cleared the Kronecker deltas. Now AJCJ is just A dot C, and AJBJ is just A dot B. So we can replace this as A dot C times BI minus A dot B times CI, right? So you see that this is just the ith component of a vector. So this is A dot C times B vector minus A dot B times C vector, and it's the ith component. So I've proved that A cross B cross C, the ith component, is equal to A dot C times B minus A dot B times C, the ith component. And since that's true for i equals 1, 2, 3, that proves the uh, vector identity. So let me summarize the main steps here. Uh, one, if you're proving a vector identity, you have to prove it for the components, for an arbitrary uh, component, here chosen to be the ith component. Two, you need to replace the cross products using the levi Savita symbol. Three, if you're contracting the levi Savita symbols, it's best to spin the indices so that you're contracting the first index of the levi Savita symbols. Then you use uh, the identity relating the contraction of one index of the levi Savita symbol to the, the difference between the products of Kronecker deltas. Uh, four, then you contract the Kronecker deltas against the, um, the vector components. Finally, you recognize dot products when you see them, and you would also recognize cross products if you happen to see them. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.